Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about hot sauces. So, uh, in general, uh, I love food, I love eating, I love to cook, as you've seen on other videos on my channel. Um, but in particular, I love hot sauce. So I love everything from the super mild and sweet tangy stuff, like you might have like a spicy barbecue sauce, or something with just a couple jalapenos in it, um, all the way up to like the Carolina Reaper, ghost pepper sauce, some of that stuff that's just like really, really hot, but you know, it's still good on chicken wing, uh, in a burger, salsa, stuff like that. So I just really wanted to share sort of my love and interest for hot sauces with everyone. So I wanted to start uh, with some of the bottles from my collection. Uh, I have quite a few, uh, but here's just a couple to get started. We've got some different uh, varieties and levels of uh, spice and commonality as well. So I just wanted to go over it. So let's get started. All right, uh, so first, uh, it's a pretty common hot sauce, almost everyone should know. Uh, tapatio, or tapatio, you know, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, but it is a vinegar-based sauce. Um, it's one of the most common, you'll find in almost any restaurant. Uh, fast food even has them. Uh, you'll even have like promotional like chips or other stuff with this as a flavor. Um, but yeah, let's go over the ingredients. So the first ingredient is water followed by red peppers, salt, spices, garlic, and then we've got acetic acid, xanthan gum, sodium benzoate. So the last three are all more of like stabilizing ingredients, uh, no flavor involved there. But uh, you know, so we've got the uh, red peppers, water, uh, salt and spices, garlic. That gives us all the flavor here. So it gives like a real initial burst of heat, uh, nothing too strong. I mean, you should be able to handle this if you can handle a, a medium or even pretty hot salsa, but let's give it a try. So um, as a baseline, I think I'll start with some tortilla chips. I just uh, tend to eat Juanita's uh, tortilla chips. I am from Oregon, so I tend to enjoy local companies. Um, so I just have some tortilla chips here that we'll try these on. So you see it's more of a liquidy drip sauce. No chunks, you can see some bits of uh, pepper, some other spices in there maybe, but you know, nothing uh, chunky, you won't be chewing the sauce or anything like that. It almost has like a tomato-y taste to it initially before the heat kicks in. I mean, it's definitely from the red pepper. It'll even get you a little sweaty, but it's just really enjoyable. It's got some heat, um, you know, but uh, it's really good on everything from breakfast sandwiches, uh, just eggs in general, uh, obviously tacos. Um, you can even mix this into a barbecue sauce if you want something a little less traditional in there. Uh, I just really enjoy the sauce in almost anything. Um, it's the reason they sell it in the bottles that are a lot bigger <laughs> because you can eat uh, quite a bit of it. So uh, I really enjoy this. It's salsa picante, the hot sauce. Um, yeah, it's really great. All right, and so after Tapatio, we have uh, some Gringo Bandito. So this is one of my uh, preferred brands of sauces. It is pretty commonly available. Um, it is known as the brand uh, owned and operated by Dexter Holland, who is the front man for uh, The Offspring, which is a you know, band popular in the 90s. They still tour and such. Um, but you can see it's sort of his character, caric caricature on the front of the bottle there. Um, dressed up as a bandito, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the ingredients. So again, we start with water, and then we've got white vinegar, serrano peppers, onions, habanero peppers, cilantro, salt, spices, garlic, jalapeno powder, and xanthan gum. So again, at the end, uh, xanthan gum, just to keep it sort of liquidy, stabilizes, and uh, sort of makes it all sort of uh, homogenous. So when you can shake it, you'll see it still, you know, pours. I've had this bottle for, uh, eight or nine months now, um, but it still tastes great. You always want to keep hot sauces refrigerated, at least I do, unless you're maybe using uh, the same bottle, top of you, like every day of your life, then you can just leave it out, it should be fine. But you know, anything longer than a few months, especially since I always uh, try to switch between hot sauces, um, you just want to keep it refrigerated. But anyway, so that's where the xanthan gum, uh, xanthan gum can come in because you know, that will stabilize the sauce. It's something, an agent that helps keep over time. Uh, but yeah, but to go back, it's sort of the beginning, again, with the water as the first ingredient. Um, white vinegar, so we're gonna have some more uh, acidity in this one. Serrano peppers. Uh, serrano peppers can be a bit of a sweeter spice, but also a longer, slower burn. Uh, so these are one of those hot sauces where 
the first one might not take uh, as hot, but then maybe the third, fourth, fifth uh, bite, it can really start to build over time. Um, I also like the, the label on the bottom. Hot sauce doesn't really have nutritional value. It's vinegar and peppers for God's sake. What did you expect? Why are you even determining nutritional value of hot sauce? Just enjoy it. Well, I agree. I also understand that, you know, you want to know what goes into your food, right? Um, but this also uh, comes from uh, California. That's where uh, the band is from. So Huntington Beach, I believe. And they've been around for almost 20 years now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take uh, a little taste here. So again, sort of a drip spout. Gotta clean some of these bottles. So it's a very similar consistency to the, uh, the last sauce. So you can, it's pour, or we dripped it on here and it's still saying liquidy, all sort of cohesive. See little bits of the, the spices and uh, other uh, salt in, in there. Now let's take a bite. Oh yeah. So just like I was saying, like, it's a slower initial heat. Um, it's definitely hitting the back of my tongue right now. Um, it's almost like like a fruity, uh, almost sort of sweetness to it, as, but it's really good. Um, the flavor uh, doesn't hit you too hard, it's already subsiding a little bit. I'm sure if I ate some more it would kind of keep it up. It is making me break out of sweat a little bit here, but that just means uh, the spice is working. That's good. Um, so yeah, so you can find this. Um, this particular flavor, this is uh, the green sauce, you know, that salsa verde is our way of saying that. Um, so this may not be available at as many stores. This brand in general might not be as available in many stores. Um, I am from the West Coast, you know, Oregon, so uh, I do see it more often than not, especially in like something like a New Seasons or more of a, a not a specialty store, but you know, something a little bit more uh, inclusive uh, or more specialty ingredients than just say like a, a Safeway or something like that. So. You should be able to find this, uh, though, um, especially if you find an independent store where someone likes hot sauces, you might find this on the shelves. All right, so after uh, the Gringo Bandito, we have uh, Melinda's. It's another very popular brand of hot sauce. Uh, you will find this, uh, not, maybe not this particular uh, flavor, but you will find Melinda's hot sauce. It has the same logo on, I think, pretty much every bottle, just uh, the wreath or, you know, flower arrangement, I guess, uh, with uh, what I assume, or who I assume to be Melinda on there so um but yeah they have uh, just the original lineup of flavors i think it's just like original extra hot uh, extra extra hot and then they kind of go up from there obviously they have one through five is their standard rating scale so this would be a four um so this one in particular uh is a bit of a hotter one it's a scotch bonnet i actually find it to be not as hot as some other other four star spices or uh, you know four flame spices i guess <laughs> um it's definitely i enjoy the flavor of a scotch bonnet it's very hot um, I believe it's used like in the Caribbean a lot, um, but it's delicious. Like I love this on anything. It's really good with fruit, like mangoes, mango habanero is a very, or not mango habanero, Amer mango and scotch bonnet in my mind is also a very good uh, combination of uh, the fruit and the spice. But yeah, let's go over the ingredients, speaking of that. Uh, this one we actually start with a scotch bonnet pepper mash, so uh, not like water originally. I mean, to be fair, the mash does include water and scotch bonnet and peppers, so water is still kind of the first ingredient technically. Uh, from there, we have vinegar, carrots, papaya, salt, lime juice, onion, passion fruit, citric acid, xanthan gum, garlic, uh, ascorbic acid, and turmeric. So there are some spices that are even in less quantities than some of the preservatives. So we will have some of that kick from the turmeric and the garlic at the end there. Not as much. Uh, this is mostly about, obviously, the scotch bonnet and pepper. Uh, but from there, yeah, carrots, that gives us some of the orange uh, color. Papaya will give us also some sweetness to it. Um, then we have, like, obviously salt, lime, juice, onion, pretty common. Uh, passion fruit, another hint of sweetness in the sauce. I think this is why I like this one so much. A lot of fruit, a lot of sweetness in this one. So let's uh, give it a taste. I always shake the bottle. I always shook these before recording. I'm just going to shake it again before. Again, there's a slow drip. Just come out in little dollops, basically. So this one will be a little bit more gelatinous because of all the fruit. Uh, there's more stabilizers as well, like the xanthan gum uh, in higher quantity, I would imagine, to keep it uh, more stable. Um, you will see some, some more chunks uh, in this one compared to the last two. I did back up the bottom there, that's okay. 
So you can see some more chunks, uh, individual pieces of, uh, you know, different ingredients in there. Obviously the salt, the spices, a little bit of red, maybe some carrot in there. All right, let's, uh, this one should be fun. Oh yeah, so definitely there is an initial burst of the like fruity, definitely the papaya. The lime also is really consistent throughout the sauce. But yeah, it instantly raises the heat threshold. That uh, serrano from the last sauce was definitely on its way out of my palate. But that uh, just reinvigorated. There's a lot of, I can taste the vinegar too. It really punches through the acidity. Uh, but it's really good. Like um, I, I can put a lot on there. I could definitely eat a lot more. I dumped this stuff all over breakfast burritos. Oh, it's so good. Uh, but yeah, so this is also, I forgot to mention, I believe a product of Columbia. Yes. Uh, imported and then sold through Texas. So, um, like I said, this is a super common brand, uh, especially, I should say, in North America at least. Um, I don't have experience much in international markets, obviously. Uh, but you should be able to find Melinda's, the brand, in almost any major supermarket. Uh, these specialty flavors, like this one in particular, uh, there's this one store next to my uh, partner's mother's house that happens to sell a couple of their more rare flavors, and so I always stop in when we visit uh, and stock up on a couple bottles. So this one is obviously a little bit more fresh. I think I just picked it up a couple weeks ago. Uh, but yeah, delicious. So highly recommend uh, Melinda's in general. Work your way up that spice uh, ladder if you can. All right, and then now the last sauce, uh, definitely the spiciest. Uh, I don't know if you also noticed that theme, trying to build, uh, you don't want to start with the hottest sauce, I mean, at least I don't anyways. Um, but for this last one, condensation. For this last sauce, uh, being from Portland, you know, we're from the Portland area, obviously Secret Art Bark is a super popular sauce. Um, super high demand, uh, it's also a very controversial sauce. Uh, a lot of people call it uh, bad ketchup or spicy ketchup or uh, like almost like a tomato sauce. I don't understand why people don't like it that much uh, for those reasons. I mean, I guess it's personal preference, that's fine. Um, but I've always thought their sauces are really good. I'm a big fan of their green sauce. Um, also the original is great. Um, this one is a bit of a hotter one. So this is the Reaper sauce. Hard Park Reaper, so a smoked hot sauce. Uh, smoked maybe implies there's a bit of a subtle flavor. I can guarantee you it is not. <laughs> I've not eaten a whole lot of this just because it is very spicy. Um, I also enjoy the included recipe for kidney beans <laughs> in case you uh, want to, you know, eat some of the spiciest beans you've had. So let's see here. So like, as I was saying, uh, this is from, uh, this is a Portland company. Uh, so uh, a little easier to get in the Pacific Northwest, um, also available online. Uh, it can be quite expensive, it's honestly pretty crazy. Like, uh, as of this video, I can usually buy a bottle for around six, seven dollars, um, maybe a little bit more, prices have gone up the last couple of years. Um, but I've seen them online for like 12, 15, 20 dollars sometimes, which is crazy to me, but you know, understandable, being, you know, uh, from uh, a, a closer source to them. God, this is, uh, the sauce is already making me sweat. Whew. All right. Anyway, so let's take a look at the ingredients. So, uh, kind of to my point of people hating on it for being a tomato sauce, the first ingredient is tomatoes, with parentheses, tomatoes, roasted tomatoes, and tomato juice. So, a couple of varieties in there. Followed by carrot, white wine vinegar, smoked reaper, pepper mash, yellow onions, cane sugar, smoked sea salt, garlic, spices, yellow mustard, in parentheses, distilled vinegar, mustard seeds, salt, turmeric, and spices. So, as you can see, uh, we don't have as many preservatives uh, in this one. I didn't read any as far as I can see in there, other than maybe the salt, obviously. Vinegar is obviously also a preservative and a flavor additive in the sauce. Uh, but that's one reason I like it. Uh, no added preservatives in there. And obviously the taste is uh, really good. So uh, this obviously has the Reaper pepper, one of the hotter peppers on the market. So this one will definitely be a little spicier. Now I'm just Vamping for time, I think, so I don't have to eat this right away. But we'll see. All right, well, there's no getting out of it, so we might as well just do it. So this will be more of a squeeze bottle, because there are bigger chunks in this one, as you can see. Almost like a salsa. You can see it's 
see it here. Definitely chunkier, thicker. It's not moving as much, not as much flow. But there's no preserves in there, because like the xanthan gum, that that's, uh, gives it that sort of like that gummy, viscous sort of uh, consistency that allows it to move around the chip and stay whole. Whereas this is obviously soaking into the chip, as you can see, and not moving around much. And of course, you can see the chunks of the pepper mash, chunks of the tomatoes, spices, etc. All right, well, here we go. Yeah, okay, so that one's spicy. You do immediately um, get the tomato flavoring in there. Um, it is obviously subtle compared to the Reaper pepper, which in itself is delicious. Like, <laughs> despite the heat in there, I can really taste the pepper coming through and complemented by the tomato, uh, specifically the roasted tomato. That's where we get the smoked sauce flavor. <laughs> Oh, morning nose now. Um, but yeah, so it's really good. Uh, I don't eat this too much. It's definitely a whip out if you want to uh, give someone something hot to try. Uh, it is good on rice. I do like it with Spanish rice um, or in a burrito, honestly. Um, you want to add a lot of cheese in my experience to sort of hit that and balance it out with some more fattiness um, in the dish just to avoid what's happening to me right now, which is sweating and my nose is running. Um, but yeah, so I recommend you can pick this up uh, in Portland. It's a newer sauce, but if you want to try something, maybe try the original first or the green sauce is a bit more mild. But um, yeah, so with that, I will conclude my first video. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in and let me know what sauces I should try next time. All right, thanks guys. Oh God.